I am uh, Vishwajit Singh. I am a lawyer. I uh, practice in Delhi as well as in other states of the country. And I have got some experience in uh, working human rights cases. And since uh, today's uh, sit-in protest has been organized with regards to violation of human rights of uh, cookies or tribal people in Manipur. Therefore, I find myself privileged to come here and have a few words with all of you who have gathered here. I, I thank the organizers for having me here today. And I have uh, had some experience in Manipur earlier. So I am I am slightly aware of the background of Manipur and various uh, socio-political fault lines that exist in Manipur. And, and right from the beginning of this violence, it has been very, I mean, evidently clear to me that who is who is uh, who is precipitating uh, a violation of human rights and who is the victim of the ongoing experiment of the ongoing program of the ongoing ethnic cleansing I would say and it is very very clear abundantly clear that the majority community which is, which is the Mete community is inflicting those violations of human rights on the people, on the cookies of people of, the, of Manipur who are the victims of this ethnic cleansing of this attempt at genocide. So there is no doubt about it. There have been uh, you know, heavy, serious effort from many quarters, from the majority community, from the state government as well as by elements within the central government to portray a picture which is very very contrary to truth they have tried to portray and level baseless allegations and uh, baseless motives to cookies of people like uh, the beginning of violence was affected by cookies of people which, is, which has turned out to be false that the refugee crisis have been created by the Kukizo people and Metes are the victim of the, uh, of the refugee crisis, of the displacement crisis. It turns out to be false. Of course, yes, there are victims on both sides. But, but who triggered that violence? Who triggered that crisis? Who triggered this unprecedented scale of displacement in Manipur? It's the it's the radical groups from the from the Mete community, from the majority community. The radical groups which affected which affected mass lynchings, mass violation of uh, of of the women and girls, and killings of and targeted killings of uh, tribals whose residences, whose place of residences, place of work, place of worship, etc. were identified in advance and they were selectively picked up and they were eliminated by and there is a number, there is a head count, everything is there. People who were killed and people who did those atrocities, they are not anonymous people. They have names and addresses and yet very little has been done by the state to, to, to take those people to book, to take those people to account, to hold those people accountable. A large number of such people are part of the state government, are part of the government machinery, are part of, are they are state functionaries. None, not a single person, not single one of such persons has either been arrested or has been further stopped, further apprehended from doing such activities or for, from repeating such activities. In fact, they are being encouraged by the state government within, the, the, by the elements within the state government to carry out further such uh, violations of human rights of cookies or tribal. For example, what happened, what has been happening in More last the, for the last four, five days is just a continuation of what happened in Imphal earlier during the first week of May is what is being repeated now 
in more of and we are today we are sitting at 6 months of starting of this violence the same what happened in uh, what was perpetrated in imphal is being perpetrated in more against the kukizo people and they are the same radicals same methe radical groups which are perpetrating this violence and and which are being aided by the state government because the radical groups who disguised themselves as as manipur police were stopped from entering more earlier and that uh, uh, a protest was organized and roads were blocked so that those the state police who uh, the I and mean, the radicals who are masquerading as state police are not allowed to enter more so the state government circumvented the blockade and air dropped all of them disguised as uh, as uh, manipur police and they have been perpetrating loot violence and displacement against the kukizo people in more as of now as we are sitting here their kuki people kukizo people have been turned refugees in their own homes in their own homes own district own villages they have been forced to take shelter in army camps and this has been done either by the state police or by the radicals this is stark violence violation of human rights and this has not been challenged properly state government is not has not taken neither the state government nor the central government has taken effective steps otherwise this has been seen earlier how any any kind of violence can be stopped anywhere in the country within 24 to 48 hours the central forces and in fact every security force knows how to do that if they had had they been sincere had the government been sincere they would have taken those steps which steps have not been taken and the government needs to be called out and maximum burden maximum burden and maximum responsibility maximum accountability lies with the government not with not with the people or and what they are trying to portray is that it's the people who have been suffering are the people who are responsible which are plain lies people the the people who are affecting this who are uh, who are affecting this violence are different people and they are being supported by state government and every day a uh, false narrative is coming up in the media which is well rehearsed prepared in advance and it started appearing from day one so state government's narrative cannot be believed whether it is appearing in the media or it is being uh, or it is being projected before the courts of law it has to be countered in, in both the places in public domain as well as in the courts of law so that justice can be served and this violation of human rights can be put a stop to thank you very much i wish i wish more more and maximum strength to the kukizo people to fight this out to resist to resist this violation of human rights thank you